Um, this is a song I wrote with my buddy. Uh, he's with the Dragoons. Um, I was in the 517 Branch Legion in, in Petawawa, where I'm a member of the Legion. And, uh, I know that's heard, understood, heard, uh, understood, and acknowledged, right? Yes. And um, and I I would like to bring my guitar in there and sing for all the uh, the veterans that can drink me under the table. And that's pretty much every one of them. Uh, and one day I was sitting there singing, I was just singing songs, and I noticed this gentleman that had that all too familiar look that uh, I seen in my father anyways, and we started to write this song, but it's called uh, Still Over There, and soon enough you guys will get a copy of this. Uh, it'll have a lot of the penny whistle and the Celtic flavor to it, you know, when it's all said and done. But this goes through, uh, I'll just sing it for you. <laughs> Before I sing a song, uh, I just got back from visiting uh, Normandy and Dieppe, uh, Beaumont Hamel, Vimy Ridge, Hill 60, Essex Farm, uh, so many other places over there. And I remember every time when I sang this first verse of this song, it gave me goosebumps. And when I stood on the, on the, on the sands of Normandy and thought of this song and thought of all the tragedy that happened on that whole coastline, um, and especially in, you know, in, um, where I was standing, it's never, I don't think, it's never, you know, something bad happened, you know, and it was a very powerful, powerful time in our history. This is called Still Over There. <laughs>
Dance off the plane, the ghost of the fallen. On a cold day in Trenton, Ontario. Since coming home, she still sees the blood on the ground. That fateful morning in Afghanistan. Still over there